All right, this is the fourth and final installment of my Hot Wheels Christmas haul for 2012. We got a ton more, so I think this is the best part. Well, not exactly. Uh, I'll show you some loose uh, cars I picked up at a hobby shop, some bike packs, as well as a bunch of treasure hunts. So fasten your seatbelt. Nah, not fasten your seatbelts. Just get some more popcorn, some soda, some beer, and keep on watching. If you're big Hot Wheels fans, big Hot Wheels and, and Diecast and Matchbox fan, uh, thank you for putting up with four haul videos just entirely dedicated to Hot Wheels. And uh, let's get it. Let's get this video started with some loose uh, cars. I picked up at a hobby shop. They were at a uh, dollar each. Well, Hot Wheels are really should be a dollar each, but here in Manila they're sold at two fifty each. And uh, same as Matchbox, but this particular hobby shop had a bunch of loose cars. They were selling for fifty pesos or about a dollar, a buck twenty five. And let's start. Uh, Let's start with an old one. Finally got a Purple Passion. I love the white uh, white rims on this one. Look at that. The white circled rims on it. Very old school. Purple Passion. Now I know why they call it Purple Passion. Oops. Oh. Chrome underside. Another oldie. Uh, a Toyota AE86. This is, I think, the first appearance. It's done in... Uh, no date stamped on it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of a Japanese thing going on. Well, it is Japanese, Toyota, sorry. Uh, some Japanese flame. Oh, it says Hot Wheels. I did not see that. I thought it was Japanese writing. Some skulls underneath. My bad. Been just getting old. It says Hot Wheels. Pretty cool. Love that metallic red uh, tires on him. There you go, the Hot Wheels logo in a star. Now I'm digging this one, really digging this one. That would have been a nice treasure hunt logo. Whatever. Uh, some 2012 cars. Kokomo Fire, the, what is this, Camaro? 70 Camaro RS. Look at that. Uh, yeah, didn't want to pray pay full price for this one here and the white paint amps are really nice on this one so very cool uh, got a super snake love I love this car I'm just not a big fan of the wheels is it a faster than ever wheel I don't know I'm not sure but very nice got one with good paint apps black version of the super snake I just love this car uh, what else Yellow version of the 8 crate. Pretty cool. Another Super Snake. This one in Aquamarine. Metallic Aquamarine. Uh, lastly, 2012. Hot Wheels Racing Bone Shaker. Cannot have enough of the Bone Shaker. What's the date on this one? 2005 mold. So metal on metal very nice with plastic center so love this car really like it didn't want to pay full price for the one that was boxed okay and finally the last two cars last two loose cars i picked up are from 2012 you've already seen this one i have one in packaging this is the goodyear uh mercury cougar is it cougar oh, sorry eliminator my bad cougar eliminator that's pretty cool. Man, it's really nice. Glad I picked this one up. And something new for 2013. Haven't decided if I want to pick up one MI uh, meal, uh, Mint on box, Mint on card, MOC, of this particular car because it kind of looks like a funny car, but it's actually new. It is the 2013 Ford Mustang GT. Not entirely sure if this is what it looks like in actual. Uh, for 2013, but it kind of looks like a funny car. Uh, that's why I'm hesitant to pick one MOC, but I did pick one up loose. I thought it would, come on, I thought it was pretty cool. Kind of just looks like a funny car. Somebody let me know if this is how the car looks like, or if it's done in the funny car version uh, by Mattel. 
Alright, on to the five packs. I finally, finally picked up. I know, it's weird. The Batman five pack. I've been putting it off some reason. I don't know why. Probably because I just like these two cars. Um, but, you know, I have to, I had to get a big Batman fan. So I decided to actually pick one up. Better late than ever, right? And finally, I've been passing again, been passing up on the five packs. I finally picked up the uh, 2010 and 2011 Ferrari five packs. 2010, I think, looks a lot better than 2012, uh, 2011. But some people like the 2011 better. I don't know. Uh, but they both have really awesome cars. The Enzo's right here. You got the. Um, Scuderia, right there. Oh, here, right here, sorry. Uh, and this one is the, what the hell is that one? Fiorano? GTO? Anyway. Uh, but very, very nice. Finally, finally, finally got this one. All right. On to some treasure hunts. First one I picked up at a hobby shop. Come on, focus. There you go. The custom 62 Chevy with removable surfboard. Paint apps on this one is was spectacular. It's done in metallic gold. Yeah, a little bit of surfing deco right there. It's not a super, but very, very nice. 2011 Treasure Hunts Custom 62 Chevy. That's cool. Next, we got the 2012 Treasure Hunt Surf Crate. Not a lot of people are after this, but it is, it is a treasure hunt. First time to get this particular mold. I like it. I like the paint apps on it. It's green. Something from 2012. I've seen this a couple of times. Didn't bother picking it up, but there were, uh, but uh, there was a toy store that had U.S. package, uh, U.S. U.S. packaging hobby shot. Uh, U.S. U.S. packaging hot shots. Hot? What the? U.S. packaging. Hot Wheels cars, uh, just for them. Uh, they didn't get it from the local Mattel importer. They got it from a separate supplier. And for some reason, somebody left this at the start of the peg. My gir our girl PJ, Fat Toys, actually picked one up because she thought it was a really awesome car. Uh, never gave it a second look until I saw PJ's video. Uh, she saw it was pretty cool. Now I know why she thinks pretty cool. I actually picked one up. This is the Treasure Hunt 2012 70 Chevy Chevelle convertible. It is an awesome car. Lots of die cast in it. And I was very lucky to actually find one at the start of a peg. I mean, there's a ton of Hot Wheels. And this wasn't put somewhere underneath. At the back of the peg. It was right smack in front. Nobody was picking it up. Muscle cars are not a big thing here in Manila, at least. Not a lot of people are collecting muscle cars, but as my as our girl PJ says, it is an awesome, awesome treasure hunt. Decided to pick it up. On retail. Front of the peg. Unbelievable. All right. The next one is not really a treasure hunt, but I sort of counted it as a treasure hunt because it was, it's going to be a rare one. Uh, I already have it, but decided to pick another one. Pick up another one. It is a 2012 Premier or new models. The Mystery Machine, done in the 2012 packaging. And, uh, well, uh, didn't notice it at first, but if you look closer, it is an error. Matchbox cars go this way, Hot Wheels cars go this way. And this one is definitely going in the opposite direction. Um, and the reason they were, and the, the shape of the car is the same both ways, so that's why it was very easy to do an error such as this one. A very, very rare car, and it's an error. Can you believe it? Had to pick this one up. All right, we'll put that one there. Um, finally, the last couple cars are going to be treasure hunts. Uh, for 2013 and finally I mean first one I picked up was the carbonator because a lot of people were looking for the bread box nobody was paying attention to the carbonator they didn't actually know it was a treasure hunt decided to pick a couple up we'll probably do I'll open one up uh, in an opening unboxing video but, the, but I was having trouble looking for the bread box for a while then it became very common so I decided to pick one up
on the pegs, uh, hidden after se like at the back of the peg. Nobody was no actually. Come to think of it, this was at the front of the peg, at the bottom peg, but front of the peg. I think a lot of people had already gotten their 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 share of the bread box. Finally found one in the wild on retail at a department store. Hot Wheels bread box 2013 and it is a treasure hunt. Finally, finally picked one up. Thank you. The next one was is probably the hardest one to find this Christmas. This car was the third revealed treasure hunt for 2013. You probably know what I'm talking about. It's an awesome, awesome car. Awesome. Just brilliant car. Uh, the paint apps on this one, to add to that, the awesomeness of the mold and the casting, has a brilliant uh, paint apps and paint deco. It's, it's a police car. And on top of that, it is a treasure hunt. So even if this car wasn't a treasure hunt, collectors are going to be after this. But given that it is a treasure hunt, scalpers, resellers are going to be doubly after this one. It took me a while to find one, but I finally did. I found the 2010 Camaro SS for the 2013 Hot Wheels City category. This is the U.S. packaging. Uh, this is the international packaging. You had to get one of each. Found this one on retail, this one at a hobby shop. As you can see, the gray stripe is quite different. This one is a darker gray. This one is a more a lighter gray. As you can see, the packaging is different as well. It's got a Hot Wheels race team with some black scratches at the back. This one's just plain. And if you've noticed it, the U.S. version will have an inscription behind the car on the card, while the, U the, the international version does not have any writing on it. So very, very happy these things are going to stay mint on card. Uh, again, the international packaging. And this one is the U.S. packaging. So that's pretty cool. HW Rescue. I hope we get to find more of these. Look how nice this thing is. Unbelievable. Finally found it. We'll put that one there. And lastly, lastly, for 2013, this is the fourth revealed treasure hunt for 2013. It is none other than the 2013 Hot Wheels Racing Fast Fish. I was a little bit disappointed with the color. I thought the color was going to be a little bit like that, like turquoise blue. It's actually coming out to be more of a baby blue type of color. Uh, ruined it a little bit, but it is a treasure hunt. So I had to pick it up. This one I picked up at a hobby shop at a really, really ridiculous price. Didn't care. It was a treasure hunt. I was probably going to spend as much for food and gas looking for one. So I decided to pick one up anyway. Pretty cool. Another recycled car. Fast fish. Done for treasure hunt. So that's my Christmas uh, Hot Wheels haul for 2012. Done in four videos. I do apologize for the length, but there's just a bunch of them. Uh, they just piled up uh, throughout the Christmas, uh, throughout December 2012. And I hope you have better luck. I hope you have a lot of luck, or um, uh, finding your your the Hot Wheels for 2013. We've just barely scratched the surface. There are 250 cars for 2013. Um, one fourth or one third has already been released. There's a ton more. Of cars coming up, especially for the Batman line uh, subcategory for imagination. Really looking forward to that. A lot more treasure hunts to go. Uh, there's a couple more that have been revealed. I've not seen them on hobby shops, but I'm going to do so. I'll pick them up and uh, hopefully I can pick them up and show you guys. So there you go. Thanks for watching and uh, do stay tuned for more haul videos. If you like my videos, do follow me on, on YouTube with Chef Tron as well as FX France. I post uh, on Twitter, twitter.com slash fxfrance, all my toy purchases. I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting some of my die-cast purchases again because there's like a ton of them. Uh, haul videos are on geek.com slash fxfrance. And uh, follow me on Instagram at fxfrance for my latest toy sightings here locally in Manila, Philippines. This has been my Christmas Hot Wheels haul for 2012, part 4. Thanks for watching.